What is up Sin, YouTube here, your tips and tricks guy for everything Fortnite Mobile. And today, I got a banger for you boys, alright? I'm going to be giving you guys 5 reasons you're not improving and how to get better. So uh, this is going to be a quick vid, I don't want to take up too much time. I know everyone's in quarantine looking to improve their gameplay, get better while they have all the extra free time. So I'm going to uh, help you guys out with anything you may need help on. If you feel like you're not getting better or you're playing and you're just not progressing at all, I'm here for you. Sin is here to help you out, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to give you guys these five reasons you're not improving and other ways you can get better. So let's just get it right into it. Alright. So, the first reason that you're probably not improving is because you don't grind enough. Now, I'm a true believer of the phrase, hard work pays off. Now, I've personally seen my skill take off from putting in hard work and grinding the game. And I know the game is at a boring state right now with the mythical weapons and it's just broken. But trust me, you gotta want to put in that work, hop on, play arena, zone wars, box fights, to do whatever you can to improve and that's gonna bring me right into the number two reason you're not improving the number two reason you may not be improving is probably the people around you are not helping you improve now this means you're playing with you know your friends you're having fun but maybe the people you're playing with just aren't on a equal skill level as you maybe they're even on a way worse skill level than you so really, you're not getting any real practice with playing anyone that's not challenging your skill. So if you want to get better, you can't be playing with the same old, same old people. It's fun to play with friends every now and then again, but if you want to get better, you need to play with people who challenge your skill. Which also brings me into the number three tip, which is you're not pushing yourself hard enough. I put the number three tip as this because a lot of people you know, they're scared to step outside of their comfort zone. They're scared to push their skill and challenge themselves to get better. And I feel that is a very common reason why people don't improve. You gotta wanna, you, you need to push yourself outside of your comfort zone in order to improve. You need to do that edit course that's extremely hard or whatever. You just gotta get out there. You gotta try hard, you gotta play hard. And you are not gonna improve like I said if you don't play with people that are going to be challenging your skill. So you're going to want to start stepping out of outside of your comfort zone. The number four tip is maybe you're not able to get any effective in-game practice. You don't have enough time to play or grind out arena, or you just can't sit around all day looting up and camping for in-game and risk getting pushed by some idiotic controller player. So I'm going to be giving you guys a couple of links to some discord servers that host scrims for west and east and uh, this should get you guys cracked in the end game now these scrims are set up to where you're not allowed to fight until end game until either storm surge comes on or until fourth zone so you're gonna be getting some really stacked end games some really good end game practice and some really big end games which should increase your skill overall when you're playing in competitive events you know I played FNCS I had some a couple pretty stacked lobbies some storm surge here and there but uh, I'm gonna leave these discord servers there's one for West and there's one for East I'm gonna leave them down in the description so you guys are free to visit those join the server they're scrimming almost every day so you should be able to get practice whenever you need it Alright, but guys, the fifth and final tip of this video, five reasons you're not improving and how to get better, is you may be making too many excuses. Now, sometimes when you're playing and you die, there's nothing you can do. Let's say you jump into a kid's box and he heavy snipes you in the face with a no scope or something. He, there's just nothing you could possibly do. That's okay here and there, you know, your game crashes, whatever. There's nothing you could do. But in other situations, you can't always make excuses. I, myself, have even made excuses in the past. I've died to a kid jump, just jumping in my box and spraying with a drum gun. And, you know, I just, I get mad in the moment. 
I'm like, dude, what the heck? These stupid controller players, like, that will not make you better. It's just wasting your time complaining. What you really need to start doing is looking back, thinking back on the situation where you died and how you died, and think about what you could have done differently to prevent you from dying in that situation. Now, this will change the way you perceive your gameplay over time. Now, not only will this make you less heated, it will make you way less calm about the game, and uh, it will increase your, your gameplay. You'll be able to improve on the things you need to improve on, and you won't be making any excuses. So, uh, yeah, boys, that's pretty much it. One additional tip I can add is uh, make sure you're VOD reviewing. Make sure you're watching players that are better than you, top players. Watch their YouTube videos and uh, just watch how they play, implement their play style. And um, yeah, boys. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one additional tip for all the cuties that are still watching. This is a secret tip for all my all my loyal viewers, boys. All right, listen, listen, listen. If you want to improve your aim significantly, one tip that I made up that I've been using very often lately is queuing into a little bit of duo no fill or squad no fill and turning off aim assist, just relying purely on your own aim. When you get back in regular lobbies or arena lobbies and you turn aim assist back on, you're going to be hitting those shots, boys. Anyways, that's all the tips I have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, boys, appreciate you if you're still watching. And uh, thank you for tuning in. All my socials are in the description down below. And peace.